Welcome to everybody. This is an important day, uh, part of really an eventful and historic week as we do something that we haven't done since 1985. And I'm not going to quote the price of milk or gas or housing in 1985. I'm going to put it in perspective simply by telling you that I was a sophomore in high school the last time we introduced a new men's soccer coach at BU. Uh, before we get to that introduction, and I do want the spotlight to be on Kevin Nyland today, I would be a little remiss, somewhat remiss, if I didn't um, use this platform and this forum to recognize Neil Roberts and his uh, distinguished 40-year career at BU, 35 spent as the head coach. I tell our staff all the time that there's a way to last 40 years on a campus, and the two ways to do it are to be really good at what you do, and the second way to do it is to be a really good person and contribute to the uh, overall good of the campus community and I know that Neil checked both of those boxes. Uh, he had 367 wins, 14 national tournament appearances. He was a wonderful colleague, a great ambassador for the game of soccer and a great ambassador for all of college athletics. Uh, as much as he did win all those games, he touched even more lives and we will celebrate his uh, great and glorious career at, a, at, a, at an event this fall. Today, however, is a new day as we introduce Kevin Nyland publicly and welcome Michelle and Teddy and Pearl into the uh, Terrier Athletics family. A lot of people contributed to this search. I will most notably recognize Christy Bowers, Brittany Kane, uh, but most especially uh, Brendan Sullivan, who methodically managed this uh, rather laborious, laborious process. This was a competitive process. We had interest from a lot of different folks. And what impressed us most about Kevin was his passion, his enthusiasm. Uh, we're impressed that he reached the NCAA tournament uh, every place he's been, including as a student athlete. His interview was off the charts. Uh, he had a real plan, and he combined this plan with a real concern for our uh, student athletes both on and, and off the field. I mentioned that we interviewed a number of folks, and that's not surprising because this is a great job. Uh, but what came through most uh, about Kevin, more than, more than the others, was fit, as I told the team last uh, Tuesday. And fit is kind of an abstract, esoteric concept, but, um, and it may be, but you know it when you have it and you know it when you don't have it. And we could tell from the time we sat down with Kevin that he just fit this, this puzzle of BU athletics. He came across as real and genuine, and that was certainly corroborated by all the people who called as official references and all those that we talked to who were unofficial references. And what meant a lot to us was how much he wanted this job. Not just a job, not just any job. He didn't see this as a stepping stone to grander pastures. He saw this as a real special opportunity and recognized just how great the soccer program and this university really are. And with that, it is my pleasure to welcome the sixth coach in Boston University history, Kevin Nyland. Thank you. Um, so real uh, that I am sweating right now. So um, you talk about being authentic and being genuine. And uh, I said it to the guys uh, the other day when I met them. Uh, I am who I am. And so being here today uh, is a unbelievable feeling. Uh, so unbelievable that I just said to my brother, I am uh, completely sweating on all parts of my body right now. So TMI, but uh, that is uh, who I am. So for everybody in the room, uh, thank you very much for coming. Um, this is, <laughs> this is a, uh, a great day. And, and as uh, Drew just mentioned, there's uh, a legacy that has been here far before myself. And so, um, you know, and, and we talked about this the other day, every person within this program who's, who's worn this jersey, we have a responsibility to. Um, and that goes for 
for Neil and, and representing him and what he's laid. And now we have a responsibility to continue that and to elevate. Um, so uh, for myself and my family, uh, Drew, thank you. Uh, this is a great honor. Um, to Brendan, thank you for going through this process and uh, choosing me as well, right? Um, to, to Brittany and, and Christy, who are also part of the search committee, thank you. Uh, and everybody else who I've had the pleasure to interview during this process and as well as I've been onboarding in the past couple days. Um, you don't get to this position in life without help, right? There's, there's people along the way that help you through this process to allow you to play your dreams, right? To, to see them out. So um, all the coaches that I've been fortunate to play for and work with, and that really starts at college with my college coach, Coach Cannon, and then uh, professionally, Coach Irving, Coach Anhauser, and then going through as, as a coach, as an assistant coach at uh, Coach Serpone, Coach Kelly, Coach Arena, Coach Calabrese, um, you know, and so I've been really fortunate to to work with a lot of a lot of great human beings, which is first and foremost, um, and, and as well as great soccer people. And, and then uh, you get to the 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 people outside of of soccer, right? Um, first, I have a lot of love and respect for the family that I just left at FIU. Um, and the players and the staff there. And, and then um, the, the, the biggest thing that, that we believe in and, and we talk about and how I was raised and certain things that we're going to continue guys here is, is family, right? And um, aside from you guys, there's, there's only a couple of people and that's my family. And so uh, through the thick, in it, thick of it and wouldn't be here without my parents um, who are sitting there, my younger brother, my older brother, their, their wives, um, you know, being a soccer coach and, and playing and, and kind of getting to this point, there's a lot of car rides, there's a lot of conversations, there's a lot of questions, um, you know, but there's, there's an unwavering support that I've had my entire career. Um, and so for myself, I can only, uh, thanks, Teddy, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's real as well, every, every hour of the night. So, um, you know, for from for my for my for myself to my family for their support and unconditional love, I I have to say thank you. Um, and then, you know, uh, you guys are teammates, and I call my wife my uh, my official teammate for life. Um, you know, and none of this happens um, without without her. They uh, they say for every good man there's a greater woman, right? And that's for sure. I, I say I'm always punching. My, my wife uh, is far above my weight class. I, I don't know why she married me, but I'm really glad that she did. Um, and we have two, two great children. Teddy, as uh, everybody knows, is, is chatting away. And our daughter, Pearl, who's afraid of Rhett already. So um, who's not, not in the room because she doesn't want to see Rhett. Um, but uh, so thank you. I love you guys. Um, you know, and to the guys for being here tonight, for the you guys who don't have class, and we've talked a little bit about it thus far. Um, but what I do know, and I, and I don't make promises, and I don't think that's fair, but what I do know is you guys are going to get the best of, of myself every day, and, and we're going to look forward, and hopefully that's reciprocated, that we get the best out of each other every day. Um, uh, when we were in here the other day, what a, what a view this is, right? And, and this is home right out here on the field. Um, you know, it's exciting. We've, we've, we've been together for a couple of days thus far, and uh, I just want you guys to know how important us being together is going to be, and you guys work, and, and we'll continue to strive each day. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot that can be said, but um, BU is such a historic, academic, prestigious university, and there is uh, not a, there's no greater honor for myself to be able to come back home uh, and in, in essentially in a way of being from Massachusetts and, and to lead this program. Um, and, and with that comes great responsibility. Uh, and so I'm really excited for the, for the future and what's ahead. Um, and, and I thank everybody for coming tonight and, and supporting this program. Um, we, have a, we have a great university here and uh, we have great heights 
to go for in terms of the men's soccer program. So for myself, for my family, for the soccer program, uh, thank you for being here tonight. Hopefully everybody's excited for what's ahead for BU men's soccer. Um, and we'll have, uh, we'll have a good morning session tomorrow morning, guys, all right? So again, uh, thank you very much for your support and coming. And uh, I wish everybody a, a good evening. Thank you.